by the Mean Machine, Steve Garcia, and your Contender Series bound. Big opportunity that I know you've been looking for. How excited are you? I'm excited, man. I'm more, you know, determined more than anything. But excited to go to experiment, I guess. Um, you know. It's, it's been about 12 years in the making, so I've been waiting about 12 years to, to get to this point. You know, I'm definitely going to take full advantage of it and, uh, you know, go from there and hopefully get a contract and, uh, you know, make ways in, uh, in the UFC. That'd be great. Why is this the right time? I know if it's the right time. There's never really a right time, you know what I mean? Everybody's like, oh, this is the right time. I was like, it, it, it happens when you when it's presented to you. You just got to jump on it, you know? The opportunity presents itself. I'm going to take it, and uh, I'm going to give it everything I have and, you know, go from there. For you as a martial artist, do you feel like this is the right time for this kind of opportunity, this kind of challenge? I'd hope so, but as a mixed martial artist, you always have that, like, uh, that, like, I don't know, the mindset that I'm ready at any time. You know what I mean? So it doesn't really matter. It could have happened two years ago. It could have happened, you know, a year from now. I'm just happy it's sooner than later, and uh, it's right now. So this is uh, the cards that I'm dealt, and uh, I'm going to play them best I can. Talk to me about what you've done in these last two fights. Big victories at his letter. How do have you grown in those fights and how's that momentum for you? I almost kind of feel like I needed those fights. Uh, those fights were huge for me, especially because I really got to really just develop a little bit more in my game. I had to change my style a little bit. And, um, you know, work with Coach Wink, work with Greg, you know, multiple times throughout the week, every single week for that, for that whole entire fight camp on both cards. And, uh, man, it was, it obviously, you know, paid off. You know, we, we went in there, we stuck to the game plan. Um, it was so nice being able to listen to every command given, and uh, I just executed the way I was supposed to. How much were these adjustments mental, mental physical, to preparation to fight? It's, it's hard, it's hard because honestly you think that you, you're good enough to go no matter what, but really, you know, you have, a good, you, have, you have a good days and your bad days in this gym, but honestly when you start changing things the, to better, to better your, your, your uh, let's say your attributes and your body style and, and stuff like that, uh, I just, I had to make them accordingly and I, it took me a little while to adjust. I had to do a lot of reps and I had to do a lot of changing, work on a lot of wrestling, work on a lot of different things and, uh, you know, I, I want to say this paid off. I got to work a lot of my ground and pound and um, a lot of that showed off. We know that you're somebody that really embraces the warrior mentality aspect of mixed martial arts. How much does that come into play with taking on a, a guy that comes from Venezuela and your opponent, Alberto Montes, fought for combates? Not, not a huge amount of video and not a huge camp for you. How much do you embrace the warrior mentality in taking on this opportunity? It honestly just doesn't matter. He could have been 20 and 0, 30 and 0. It doesn't matter because this is my opportunity. I'm going to have to hop on it and I'm going to have to do the best I can. And uh, with the time given, it was a little bit shorter notice, but it's, you know, it is what it is. You know, I got married, I want to say, two weeks prior to the to the phone call. So I was, I was getting out of that mode, coming into this mode, you know, and I, I'm training all the time, but I was helping my, my guys out more than I was focusing on myself. So, you know, now I'm able to go back into camp, do work, and, and train to, uh, you know, train to kill. The mission of being there, having your wife and everything, kind of almost like strapped back to your motivation with this kind of it, it honestly added a lot more motivation. Uh, you know, in my head, they're everything to me and everyone, not just let them down, but like I need to provide for them too, you know what I mean? And my, you know, God's always taking care of me, he's taking care of my family, uh, my wife and our step and my daughter. So kind of why like I really want to just make sure that I make every second count for them, you know what I mean? Not just for me, but for them too. You know, it's, it's a big deal to me. This is where I belong. I belong on the big stage. I've always belonged on the big stage. There's a reason why Bellator picked me up from the get-go. Um, they, they saw the potential in me. I just, it was hard to really grow with them because I was limited on fights. You know what I mean? And it, what kind of hurt me after the fight that I got, I got done with them was the fact that I couldn't get fights because of that being my situation, you know, oh, we have a guy that, you know, competed at a bigger stage, you know, are we really wanting to risk fight this guy at this particular moment? That's what I, I came across a lot, you know, trying to find opposition for my for my fights. So, you know, luckily Coach Wink and, and Lenny, they went, you know, they went wherever they could find. They went to Florida, they went to, uh, I want to say this last one was, uh, where was he from? I think he was from, like, Idaho, and he trained out of ATT, though, and it just... 
we didn't, we called every state that could take a, a, a fight, you know, and, you know, we went in there, we executed, and, uh, you know, came up with a victory, so that's what I was happy about, and uh, I'm just making sure that everybody knows I'm coming to knock your head off, you know, you, a lot of, I've, I've a lot of guys telling me that they're ready to die, well, you know, if you're ready to die, that means you're ready, to, I'm ready to kill, you know, that's, that's all, that's all it is, you know. What do you see looking at the UFC bandweight division? I, I love the UFC man division. I've been watching them for a long time. You know what I mean? Especially since uh, you know it turned into UFC from the WEC. Uh, there's a lot of uh, talented fighters in there, you know, and I trained with a couple of them, you know what I mean? So it's cool. I'm just happy to be a part of that, and uh, I want to move up in the rankings, and I want to be able to go in there and, uh, you know, show people what I can do, you know, be the best I can be, and uh, go out there and uh, put on uh, exciting fights with the fans. How do you feel you're able to make an impact there at the Battleweight division? You're just going to have to wait and see, bud. It's going to happen, though.